The fashion world is always brimming with new ideas, so let's see how colour and design in a widely used fabric like cotton are today influencing dress styles and even furnishing motifs. For example, curtains to match clothing is a theme rapidly gaining popularity in America. At the same time, notice that the pyjama suit under the housecoat has a reverse design. The same fabrics exported to many different countries have been treated in a variety of ways. Here, for example, the same design, as used in the pyjamas, has been made up into an informal evening dress by designers in New Zealand. Another example of same design contrasting treatment. In the ensemble worn by Catherine, the jacket carries the design of black bands and white spots in its length, worn vertically, while the dress has it worn as hoops. In contrast, the material in Marigold's dress has been gathered at the bodice, giving a full spotted effect, while on the skirt, the full pattern is shown. In the same vein, Marigold's sheath dress for evening wear is given a sophisticated long look by the pattern running vertically, while Catherine captures an entirely different atmosphere with the pattern running across the skirt in gay summery style. The versatility of these fabrics, remembering their stain and water repellent qualities, is shown by this idea from South Africa. The same design is used in countries like Malaya for evening wear. Different countries, different ideas. Yet it's little short of amazing that, say, one piece of material from the cotton mills of Rossendale in Lancashire can adopt so many different personalities. Evening wear in East Africa, summer dresses in the West Indies, and furnishing fabrics in the United States a tribute to the originality of designers all over the world today.